The Williamson County Sheriff announced the arrest of two students who allegedly made violent threats against their respective schools. The threats were made against Liberty Hill High School and Cedar Valley Middle School. Both students are minors, so the sheriff is not sharing their names and ages. They each face a third-degree felony charge of making a terroristic threat. KXN's Will Dupree joining us live from the sheriff's office in Georgetown, where deputies decided to step up their presence today at two school districts. Will? Well, they did, Robert. The sheriff placed deputies at uh, schools in both Round Rock and Liberty Hill after those two arrests late Wednesday night. Now, the sheriff told us that one threat came in earlier this week on Snapchat from someone in Mexico against Cedar Valley Middle School. An investigation with the FBI actually determined that a student there asked a friend in Mexico over a gaming system to send out that threat. This came, though, after a parent found a stolen handgun near that very school on Wednesday. Deputies are now trying to figure out if there's any kind of connection with this threat at this point. Parents say this is also happening at the same time as a crucial testing period this week, which only adds to the stress of the students there. One mother, she did tell me, though, that the additional presence of law enforcement helps reassure her and her eighth grade daughter. I feel very safe and I really like it. I'm just, I'm just worried for the future that there will be there will be more talk of you know what to do about these potential threats and these need to be taken very seriously it's not funny and today deputies and police set up at liberty hill high school after they became aware wednesday night of another video threat shared on snapchat this one apparently showed a student holding an assault rifle and threatening to shoot up the school now, the sheriff does want to reassure people out there that he does not believe there's any safety risk at this point. However, he'd like parents to talk to their children about the consequences of what they post on social media because his agency has to take any and all threats very seriously. Reporting live, Will Dupree, KXAN News.